Okay, welcome colleagues to our channel where we are presenting mathematics lessons. So in this presentation, we want to see how we can find an equation from uh, the graph uh, of a parabola. Where you are given a parabola, right, which is a graph, then you are asked to generate or to come up with an equation. How do you do it? So I've got two examples here. Right. Now I must be quick to mention that uh, when you look at this graph, sometimes maybe they can give you a point here. If they give you a point here, then they ask you to get the coordinates of that point B. So in this case, you are supposed to get the, the coordinates of the turning point, right? Which is um, represented in lesson one. So you can look at lesson one and see how to find the coordinates of the turning point. All right? Okay, so now let's we continue to, uh, to look at uh, um, these problems. Where we're supposed to find the equation. So what we can use is the general equation here x minus alpha in brackets by x minus beta in brackets. Now, alpha and beta are just represented. They are just letters. You can put any other. Okay? So, for the first one, I'll say, what is my x here? My x is e, negative 2. So, here you're supposed to say uh, x minus. My x there is negative 2, so I'll put negative 2 here. Alright? That is my alpha. So, my alpha is like e. Negative 2. Then, again, I'll say x minus, what is the this beta? I'll get this one. Even if we were to interchange them, right? So, you have uh, 5. So, you have 5 is equal to what? 0. So, x, when you say this uh, by that, you have plus 2. Alright? So, x minus 5 is equal to what? 0. This is what we have here. Then from here, just do the expansion. Say so x times x is x squared. x by negative 5 is negative 5x. 2 by x to x. 2 by negative 5 is negative 10. Then you simplify. Alright? You simplify first. So when you simplify this, you have got x squared minus 3x minus 10 is equal to 0. Now, you must look at uh, this that we have here. Okay, look at the value of x here. X is what? Positive, what? Right? We are saying if x is greater than 0, both is 1 which is greater than 0, then the graph should be a minimum. Alright? But look at our graph there. Our graph is a what? A maximum, which is a, uh, a contradiction to what we are saying. So what do you do in this case? You introduce a negative. So if you have got a negative key. Alright? So you're going to introduce a negative uh, this side. Okay? So when you introduce a negative, you have got negative x squared plus, well, this would be a plus and this would be a plus. So you have got this. Again, you, when you look at the, 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 the y-intercept, it's like the y-intercept here is what? 10. But here, what do we have? We have got 20. So for us to have 20, 10 into 20 is 2. So you multiply here by 2 throughout. So I'm going to say 2 by negative x. So here actually we should just write um, right away. I think it should, it should be this. So 2 by that you get negative 2x squared. And 2 by that you have 6x. And this by that you have got uh 20. Then this by that you have a zero, of course. Now, why zero? Zero, it means this one and this one, they are on x intercept, x intercept. So on x intercept, y is zero. So why there is zero here, we put y. Okay? So why there is zero here, we put y because those are only, uh, these they are only x, they are x intercepts. Okay? So this one becomes our equation for that one. Okay? Then for b, again we apply the same x minus alpha, x minus beta. So, in this case, our alpha will be this one, this one is our beta. So we say x minus our alpha is this, then our beta is that. So we say minus that. So this by that is positive. Then we have this. So just have to multiply. So x times x, x squared. x by negative 2, negative 2x. Two 3 by x, 3x. Three then 3 by negative 2, we have negative 6. Alright, so here you just simplify. So x squared 
plus x because we got two x plus three x is e x minus what minus c minus um six now you look at this what is the a again a is greater than what zero what kind of a parabola are we supposed to have we are supposed to have a minimum do we have a minimum here yes so that is okay so no need of introducing a negative here so you are going to equate that one to, to zero but the moment you equate that one to zero here you are not supposed to put zero we are saying this is equal to zero but now since these that we have used here they are only x intercept and an x intercept y is zero it means here where there is this we put in y and that one becomes our equation here all right here this is our equation that's how we are going to get it alternative if you have a problem you can say uh, if you have a problem we're applying that you can say here it is x is equal to negative three all right here again, it is x is equal to what? 2. Now, what we can do here, you can say x minus, uh, plus 3. All right, you take the 3 on that side is equal to 0. Here, x minus 2 is equal to 0. So it means we have O here. Meaning that we have x plus 3, all right, and x minus 2 being equal to what? 0. Because once you do this, you have got this expression. Then you, you expand, you still come to that. Okay. I hope it is clear that one. Okay, so maybe I can give you something that you can try via the, the camera. <clears throat> yeah, you can try those. That's where we end for this presentation. Thank you so much.